The expansion of the Concord Water Supply Network to the south of Grenada, as far as Point Celine and Sanders Grenada, is estimated to cost 12 million US dollars. The project seeks to address an area of challenge for Nawasa in servicing the hotel belt, among other businesses and households, which consumes the most water in the country. Planning and Development Manager at Nawasa, Wyam Cox, says the expansion of the Concord Water Supply Network seeks to alleviate the burdens of the Anandil water supply plant. Which is stretched to its limits and of course given our vulnerability to climate change and rainfall during the rainy season, we just don't have sufficient water to supply the demands at the south. Cox says the project is expected to create interruptions to traffic as they intend to extend the Concord network through the Sendal Tunnel onto the Carnage and down to the south. The project would, would also see the, 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 the upgrade, of course, of the Concord water treatment plant. And I mean, for obvious reason, if we, want it to, if we want to send more water down south, then we need to upgrade the capacity of the plant to do so. He notes that the project also entails a sewage expansion component, whereby the Lagoon Road sewage network will be incorporated into an upgraded St. George's sewage network. This project also has a component um, to provide Nawasa with a roadmap for sewage treatment. As it stands now, we don't treat um, the sewage that is collected. Um, we, as an organization, you know, prudent as we are, identify that limitation. Nawasa's planning and development manager says, historically, the untreated sewage is normally collected and pumped out into the sea via two outflows. The system is now being modernized to consider environmental issues. As we say, um, appreciate these issues and how they affect um, the environment. And I mean, granted, um, we could argue that to date, what we do um, is by no means uh, impacting our shoreline, our coastline, because we are forever doing uh, monthly samples and tests and so just to ensure that um, what's happening is not impacting um, our coastline areas. The project is at the final stage of the feasibility study before the final reviews with NAWASA and implementing agency, the Caribbean Development Bank. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.